हेलो लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे इज नाइन्थ ऑफ नवंबर वेडनेसडे मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस फॉर यू ऑल आई ट्राई टू माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट दिन आर प्लीज लाइक एंड शेयर माई वीडियो विद योर फ्रेंड एंड फैमिली विच विल हेल्प मी फॉर स्पोर्टिंग एंड नो लेट स्टार्ट द टूडे इन्फॉर्मेशन The Iraqi dinar continued to fall against the US dollar despite the government's vigorous measures. This decline negatively affected commercial transactions in most of the wholesale markets in Baghdad and the provinces. On Tuesday, the exchange rate reached 1540 Iraqi dinars to the dollar in the parallel market. compared to 1320 Iraqi dinars to the dollar in the official currency auction approved by the central bank a wholesaler in the Shahja commercial souk in Baghdad told our channel that the market was witnessing a great stagnation adding that the movement of buying and selling has declined recently due to the fluctuating exchange rates he noted that traders are worried that the Iraqi dinar would continue to fall against the dollar touching the ceiling of 1700 Iraqi dinars for $1 as happened at the beginning of 2023 thus contributing to the rise of commodity prices and basic materials the trader did not rule out that the recent US sanctions on 14 Iraqi banks and the central bank's ban on dealing with them in dollars was behind the new exchange crisis although the central bank is pumping more money into the currency auction last week the US treasury imposed sanctions on 14 Iraqi banks in a crackdown on Iran's dealings in dollars the Wall Street Journal quoted US officials as saying they were taking action against the banks after uncovering information that they engaged in money laundering and fraudulent transactions some of which may have involved sanctioned individuals and raised concerns that Iran could be benefiting from the dealings the continuous decline in the exchange rates of the dinar against the dollar prompted prime Minister Mohammad Al Sadani to meet with the governor of the central bank Ali Al Alaq on Sunday in the presence of financial advisers and the director general of investment in the bank according to a statement Al Sadani was briefed on clarifications about the most important facilitations provided by the central bank which include allowing small merchants and individuals to finance their imports without the need to establish a company through government and private banks that have direct relations with correspondent banks participants in the meeting also emphasized the need to maintain the compensation for citizens and companies who buy dollars at the unofficial rate during the meeting Al Alaq revealed the bank's intention to resume selling cash dollars through licensed banks in Nineveh governorate CBI and government are taken serious action against smuggling and money laundering so we hope rate will be good in next coming days take care and goodbye